It's Steph here with Creative Life. I have joined Craft Collab Facebook group for a YouTube hot featuring kitchen sink stamps. And these are multi-layered stamps that, I mean, bring your image to life, y'all. Um, I absolutely checked out their site and I've never used their stamps before, so I was like, oh my gosh, so excited. <laughs> so, so their stamp sets are really cool and um, they are multi-layered stamps and they show you exactly how to put them together. And now this I one is a mini stamp set, okay, and um, it is uh, a clear stamp set and with this stamp set, you here is the instructions, okay, it shows you how to put your stamps together to create your really Whole image. So okay. um, then the second stamp set I got was called Little Lambs. Okay, and it comes like this. All right, and this is uh, SMC024, and it comes like this, and it also comes with your instructions. Okay, so there's the instructions. All right, just like that, and it shows you where to find a placement for your stamp. So you are able to stamp it in the same place each time, okay? So, so this is a YouTube hop, okay? And so remember to read all of the information down below in the description box. I will put all of the links there, okay? And you'll want to go ahead and comment on as many of the links as you possibly can so you can win a $25 gift certificate to Kitchen Sink Stamps online store. All right, this is open to the American and Canadian residents. All right, so just um, look for all of this, all of the information down below. Okay, and so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, mount my paper down here. I just went ahead and took a piece of washi so it would stay in place. And go ahead and put one up here too. Just a little piece. And um, then you want to get four or five inks that will coordinate with each other before you start stamping, okay? I chose blue for the little lamb. And so we're going to go ahead and do um, the, the 5B first okay so I already have that laid on my platform okay and what I did was I went ahead and um, put the little feet right in that little grid right there see I want it right in the grid a little bit more okay so to get your stamp started okay you're gonna go ahead and place them where you want them okay so I want my little lamb right there Okay, so I'm going to grab, I'm going to move my inks down a little bit, okay? And I have the black, because the black is going to be for his nose and hooves in the shadows of his um, body. So that's why I have the black. So I want his hoof right, the back hoof, right in this little square down here. So now I'm going to go ahead and just pick him up, okay? I'm going to grab my tuxedo black. And now I'm just going to go ahead and lightly touch him with the black. And now you can see his little his little body right there. Okay, or his little hooves and his little outline of his face a little bit. A little bit of shadow effects there. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe that clean. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and grab... 5 or 4B. Okay. okay, so for 4B, I'm going to go ahead and lay him on top of the shadow effect. I'm going to lay him on top of those hooves. Okay, and everything, so that way I know where he's supposed to be at. Alright, next I'm going to grab my stamp platform. And again, I'm going to place that hoof right in that bottom grid right there in that square. Okay, I don't know if you all can see that. Maybe I'll zoom in. Just so you can see the hoof is right there. Okay. 
Okay, so I went ahead and I'm gonna ink up my stamp with the nautical blue ink, okay? And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and line up the images. And I went ahead and chose the bottom right hoof as my guide for lining up my stamped images. So from here on out, I'll go ahead and line up all of my images to that right hand um, foot, okay? So I will be doing that for the remaining part of this tutorial, and I'm gonna fast forward. There he is. So look at how cute he turned out. Oh my gosh, look at how cute. You can see everything on him. He is so adorable. So, so next I'm gonna make another one on the left-hand side in pink and use the Tree Friend stamps with the brick wall and then I'll be back. Now I'm using the Tree Friend stamp and I'm laying down that brick wall. So I wanted to share with you how to do that. And you just lay down the first piece, which is the light brown piece. All right, and then you're gonna go ahead and do the shadow piece, and that's gonna be the darker brown that I'm using, okay? And it looks so cool, you guys. I absolutely love this stamp, it's so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, this turned out so cute. <laughs> I love both of these little lamb stamps. And I did add some other stamps from the Tree Friend set, uh, the butterflies, the birds up on top of the clouds that I did. I also added in the flowers on the bottom in the grassy area and um, yeah so I colored those in and so I'm going to go ahead and finish up the card and then I'll be back. Okay y'all so I'm back so I also um, I finished up a couple of cards and I did a little tag um, with the stamps from the kitchen sink so as you've seen I went ahead and did a tutorial on how to do this one so I went ahead and made I just cut out this part with my die and just kind of made a little um, card here and it's so cute so um so yeah so there is the die I added some butterflies to that I did, I did i did add some liquid pearls to the grass area and then i went ahead and added um some flat back pearls little tiny ones to the flowers so i thought they looked so cute and then i added um the little um sentiments right here it says hi thank you and um, the sentiments are right in this stamp set so I just love them and um, I did some more like here it says miss you and it's spelled E-W-E -E. <laughs> and then there's baby little lamb so blessed sweet miracle and gods and um, so I thought that was really cute and I'm um, high so you do get sentiments with this little lamb set which is super cute because um, it's kind of geared towards babies and then there's a thank you and a miss you so um, for the little tag that I made I did a pink little lamb and I put sweet little miracle and so and then I did some grass and I did some flowers there and then the butterflies around that. Isn't that so sweet? Oh my gosh, I love that little lamb. Oh my God, that lamb is just too adorable. And then here on this one, that was, and then this one, I did another blue lamb and I just added some grass right in through here and did sweet baby, so blessed. 
and I did a blue one um, because I am going to be a, a great aunt again, um, I think in May, so um, I will be sending out a little card to my nephew and his um, girlfriend and their brand new baby, so yay, so I'm so excited, I can't wait to see the baby, so so um so yeah so i did go ahead and make three little cards for um using the stamp sets from kitchen sink i want to say thank you so much to craft collab for having me um do this collaboration with kitchen sink stamps so um, don't forget to run on over to kitchensinkstamps.com to check out their store and don't forget to go ahead and click on the link down below to the next youtube channel you don't want to miss out on commenting and subscribing to all the youtube channels in order to win the 25 dollar gift certificate to kitchen sink stamps online thank store so for, so, thank you so much for joining me today y'all and i hope you have a wonderful crafty day talk to you guys soon bye